Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we're going to uh, revisit Hash Flare, see how that's going. And um, also a little bit of a mining rig update, and I'm changing a little bit of directions on what coins I'm going to be going after. See you in a bit. Alright guys, real quick, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, um, where every Friday I give away Bitcoin. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, the enter to win video will be in the first comment below. Um, go to that video when this one is done, and then enter your BTC wallet address, okay? It's that easy. Alright, so with that, let's get into the Hashler news. All right, so I know most of you uh, out there are probably not involved in Hashflare. Maybe some of you are. Um, I still have money tied up in Hashflare. Um, they had a new update that came out today. I kind of want to go over. Um, so here is my Hashflare account. And as you can see, warning, your identity has not been verified. Please verify your identity. For more information on how... To verify your account, please read the following article in our FAQ. Please fill in your identification details in the profile menu in the users panel. So basically, here it is. They want you to verify your identity now. Um, why do I need to verify my account? Successful identity verification is required in order to enable certain features to your Hashflare account, including raising the withdrawal limit, um, certain legal obligations such as KYC, know your customers, regulations require us to learn more about our client's identity before letting them use the full range of our services. Uh, this article intends to guide you through the step-by-step -step process to complete your account verification. Um, I didn't get an email from them. They just sent out a tweet, which I thought was odd. Here it is. Starting from 719, which is today. Uh, Hashflare users must undergo the process of identity verification. Um, so, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not going to do it right this second. Um, so, this is basically what they want you to do. Uh, level 1, in order to reach the first level of verification, you will need to complete your profile. Um, level 2... Yeah, this is basically just filling out your name and stuff like that. Fill out the applicable fields. All fields marked with an asterisk. Uh, level 2. They want you to basically either give them an international passport, national ID card, or a driver's license. We do not accept any other forms of ID. So, basically, I would have to put my driver's license in. Uh, you would have to show the front, the back, and then you holding the driver's license, kind of like I did for um, profit coins. Um, document attached must be a JPEG. Make sure your chosen document is valid and up to date. Uh, take a photo with the document using high quality camera. Make sure your photo or scanned image is clear. Please do not open the image with any graphics editors. Um, blah, blah, blah. So. What I try to do today is I tried to withdraw. So, so I quick withdraw and see how it says account on hold. Well, that was after, well, let me back. When I quick withdraw earlier, it was actually popping up and it looked like I was able to withdraw my money. I was like, oh, sweet. Because as you can see, I got 0 0.0284 Bitcoin sitting in there. So I filled it out and I was about ready to hit withdraw but I noticed the BTC wallet address was different so I put my updated wallet address in uh, the one I was in there I don't, I don't know where it came from it must have been a default one or something but anyways I put my new one in and now I have to wait two weeks and here is why why am I unable to withdraw funds from my account balance you can make one withdrawal per currency per over 24 hours. To ensure the customer's account and balance security, the system may automatically apply a hold, disallowing any withdrawals for the time uh, the hold is active 14 days. 
There are multiple reasons for a hold to be applied. Change of wallet address number one. That's what I did. So now I got to wait two weeks, then go back in and see if I if I can withdraw. Now if I were to guess, if I were a betting man, um, it's not going to let me withdraw then because I'm not quote unquote verified. And um, I think I might at this point, if it does that, just just call the wash. You know, it, who knows what they're going to do with that that info? I mean. It's really not looking good for Hashlayer. They're just doing more and more to piss their customers off. If you look at their Twitter over here, um, click on their comments. Eh, well, click on this. Let me see if it'll show the comments. He was showing them earlier. Click right here. And let's see if it will open up the comments. Well, anyways, I was reading the comments earlier, and it was pretty much a bunch of negative, um, a bunch of negative people, a bunch of negative comments, people complaining uh, that they were, of course, doing this, scamming out, etc., which I don't blame them. If you're like me and you got a decent amount of Bitcoin, I don't even know how much that is. Let me see how much it is real quick. So that's $211 in Bitcoin I got sitting in there right now. So I don't blame people at all for being pissed. A lot of them said we're not doing it. They're just considering it a right. They're just going to write it off as a loss. Uh, and others are saying they are doing this so that they can um, so that they can stop people from charging back, which I guess has been going on. I guess people have been contacting their credit card companies and doing chargebacks, which you know. I, Again, I don't blame them. They're holding your Bitcoin. They're, you know, in my case, I couldn't get it out before the withdrawal limit was 0 .030, and you can see I'm right there. But I couldn't couldn't withdraw it. And they were just basically holding it hostage or whatever. Uh, their withdrawal limits were ridiculous. But yeah, people were. I guess we're um, doing chargebacks or trying to. So people are saying that they're going through this identity deal. To prevent people from doing chargebacks now how that would work I don't know but um, it's a decent theory I guess all right so let's go check out what I'm doing now mining rigs uh, so far this week I'm at 46.67 I got $31.56 worth of Bitcoin worth of ethereum converted to Bitcoin this week Bitcoin gold sitting at 14.44 I did just get another payout of Bitcoin, so now I'm sitting at $230 worth of Bitcoin, uh, 0 0.031. Uh, total value mined, uh, 558.34, so that's up $121 over last week, just in the past week. So, that's all in all, that's really good. So, the uh, change in direction, um, I put a new graphic, Ethereum Classic. And I put it down here as well. So what I'm going to do is my portfolio. I wanted to, you know, build up my Bitcoin. So I got 230 here. I got a more Bitcoin um, that's not through mining. So now over half of my investments, I guess you want to call them, are in Bitcoin. So which is what I wanted to do: build up a good, good, good amount of Bitcoin, which which I have so far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with using both my rigs and converting it to um, Ethereum Classic via Mining Pool Hub. So as you all know, Ethereum Classic um, is going to be listed on Coinbase pretty soon. So it's sitting at 1732 right now. So the way I figure it, it should be able to get me close to three... Uh, Ethereum Classic coins a week. So what I'm going to do is put both rigs. This is still going to mine Bitcoin Gold. This is still going to mine Ethereum, but with Mining Full Hub, I can auto convert it to Ethereum Classic, and then send it over to my wallet. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I will start that probably tonight when I finalize the numbers at uh, about 10 o'clock, and then. 
And then going forward, uh, we'll see how much, you know, Ethereum Classic I can mine. Um, I think it's obviously got a good shot at going up once it's actually put on Coinbase. You know, there was a little bit of a hype there first off. Uh, if we click on Ethereum Classic, it did spike up just a little bit. You know, it was like right around in here is when it spiked up with the announcement. Um, maybe back back in there, somewhere around in there. It spiked up a little bit, but I think it's a good, safe bet that once it actually gets listed on Coinbase, it will shoot up a lot more. So that's what I'm counting on. So that's what I'm going to convert everything over to once, uh, once around midnight. Um... I'm about ready to cash out on some Bitcoin gold. So once that hits one Bitcoin gold, which if you see I'm at 0 0.96 right now, Bitcoin gold. So that should pretty much uh, hit the one Bitcoin gold mark by 10 o'clock tonight. And then I'll just start auto switching everything over to Ethereum Classic. So all in all, not bad. Um, I hope things work out for myself and everyone else with Hashflare. Um, although I do not have a good feeling about it. Uh, I'll definitely in two weeks, when uh, I'm able to with, attempt to withdraw, I'll put that on video and show you guys that and see if I can actually get it. Um, I guess that's that, guys. Uh, Profit Coins is going pretty good. It's up 0.25% since yesterday. So, all in all, not bad. Everything's going up. So, anyways, guys, I guess that's going to be to it for today's video um, be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell spread the word guys we're getting closer to closer to 1k subscribers um, like I said earlier the uh, enter to win video for Bitcoin Fridays will be in that first comment below go to that video enter your BTC wallet address and you'll be entered to win and tomorrow we will pick a winner okay and with that guys uh, I guess that's gonna be it and I will see you tomorrow where it will be of course Bitcoin Fridays all right guys Take care. Bye.